Welcome to the last video in a series of five videos on Google Docs. In this video, you will learn how to find and replace words in your document. You will learn how to share your documents in two different ways. You will learn how to navigate your folders, and finally, you'll learn how to share a folder. We recommend that you share your folder with your professor or your teacher, and that way your teacher can um, just get the documents from you that you put in your folder. So for this, we need to accomplish some tasks. First, we're going to find and replace unacceptable words for English class, words like the lowercase i and the word stuff. Then we're going to share the document with someone who can edit. That would be someone like a group mate or your teacher. Then we're going to share the document with someone who should only comment. That would be like a peer editor, someone you do not want to edit the text, but you want their commentary. Then we're going to organize your folders a little bit, and then we're going to share a folder. So first, let's find and replace some words. First of all, you will notice that I have changed a couple of the I's. Ooh, I should probably change them. I'm going to change this to a lowercase i, and change this to a lowercase i, so you see how this works. I'm going to go just up to the top, just to show you how it works. I'm going to go to Edit. Find and replace, and I want to find all of my lowercase i's, and I want to replace them with capital I. I want to match the case, and I'm going to, oh, I'm sorry, lowercase i with a space after it, and uppercase i with a space after it. It does make a difference. And we're going to, let's just look at where the next one is. So show me. We're going to replace them all. And now you'll notice that these are replaced now. Let's do it one more time. We're going to edit, then find and replace the word stuff. I do not allow the word stuff in my students' essays. And I'm going to replace it with the word um, items. And I want to match the case again. And this time I want to look for the next one and approve it. There's my first one. If we forgot stuff, if we forgot items, that looks good. And go to the next one. And we forgot lots of stuff, lots of items. Okay, I'll replace that one. Too much items. Oh, that didn't work. Too many items. And this is how you just go through and edit your document. I'm going to find the previous one, and we're going to replace that. There we go. And that is how you find and replace words. Okay, so now we need to learn how to organize and we're going to make some folders. So uh, first we're going to share the document with someone who can edit, then we're going to share the document with someone who should only be commenting. So let's share our document. There's a couple different ways to do this. You'll see up here a share button and I'll explain all this in a moment. And if you close out of the document, and you look in your list, uh, you'll see that there's a sharing component here as well. So you can share in a couple different ways. Either way, the same window pops up. And here you choose how you want to share it. So you can share this link via one of these social networks, or you can add someone here. Their name should probably be in your contacts list. You can choose from your contacts. Uh, you can choose any email address that anyone is stating to you. I'm going to send this to, I'll send it to my other account. I'm sending it to my other account. Now over here, you will see that this person can automatically edit. You're going to want to change that if you don't want the person to be able to mess around with your words. So we're going to change that to they can comment. You can also change this, they can just view. They can't comment, they can't edit, they can just view your document. So we're going to say that that person can just comment, and then you press, oh, if you uncheck this, your teacher would be much happier. Otherwise, she'll get a ton of emails that say people have shared documents with her, and she can find her documents pretty well. If it's someone who's not expecting your document, you should definitely have an email going with it but your teacher is going to be expecting your document. We're going to uncheck that. And right now your teacher can only comment. You may want to change that to edit, because of course you do want to share this with your teacher. And you might want her to be able to edit and comment. 
and we're going to press share and save and now you will see that I'm going to press done. Oh, you'll see that person listed here. That's my other account. Press done. And now you'll see that this has been shared. It says it here. And when I open it, um, I think it also says shared here. It's private to me plus one more. That means I've shared it with one more person. Okay. Next, let's create some folders. So your screen may look a little different from this, but you want to click on My Drive or My Documents. And when you do that, this icon will appear. This icon means Add a Folder. Go ahead and click it. And for the folder that you're going to share with your teacher, you should probably have your last name. And then a comma and then your first name press create. Now we want to put our item in that folder. So we're going to go back to my drive. We're going to find the item we were working on earlier, which I know is called last name comma first name. I am from poem. Here it is. And we're going to move that into our folder. And how we do that is we go over here to organize. Do you see the folder up here? You're going to press Organize. We're going to organize that into a folder, and the folder that we chose is last name, first name. You click on that, and then you apply the changes. It will still appear in this list. Oh, maybe it doesn't. Sorry. So now when we look over to that folder, the last name, first name folder, you will see that your document is in there. So now let's share that folder with your teacher. Okay, so we're back to the My Drive or My Documents. I've clicked on there, and my folder is at the top here. Last name, comma, first name. I'm going to put a check mark next to it, and then up here you will see the guy with the plus sign next to him, and that is your share document again. And here you're going to add people. And again, they can come from your contacts. And you need to decide if whoever has that folder can view, edit, or comment on those items. And if you really need to notify them via email, again, your teacher probably would appreciate if you uncheck that, which I know I would. And now I'm going to share and save. And now I am sharing my entire folder with my teacher. So we have accomplished everything on our task list, and now you should have a very good overview of how to use Google Docs. Thank you so much for watching this last video in the series. Again, if you want to check out some more awesome flipped videos and resources to flip your own videos, please visit our website, which is shown on the screen here.